or what you're not going to see is anything painted. You're not going to see anything applied. You're not going to see anything ornamental, anything decorated. Um, what you see is what you get. Um, in, in architecture, we call this brutalism. And it's basically because materials are brutally honest. They do two things. They express the material for what it is, and they express the material for what it does. So you can see, you know, we have the concrete here. And then you, do, you can see we have, we have um, the, the concrete here. That's, that's the foundation work. You see your foundation work right in here, too. And again, what he wanted to do is express everything for its purpose and what it did. So this is a great example of this concrete, this concrete little slab right here. Um, this is part of the foundation system of the Salk Institute. And so he wanted to express it. This is a concrete gray beam. Nowadays, in, our, you know, in construction, you could specify that concrete to be a few inches lower so that you can take your travertine, sweep it all the way across, and you can see it. But Louis Kahn didn't do that. He felt it was important that you can look at a building and understand exactly how it's built, what it created, how everything was put together. Um, even the concrete, this is a special mix of concrete. It's called pozzolanic concrete. And it's basically, it's derived from the Roman, the Roman concrete, the, the, the concrete that, uh, that the Romans discovered. And that was um, that when they mixed their concrete with uh, volcanic soil and volcanic ash, um, it had better properties, structural properties. It had better waterproofing ability. Um, you could actually, this one, um, pozzolanic concrete actually sets underwater. And so this is, this is essentially the concrete, this is the concrete that built Rome. The uh, pozzolanic concrete named the Romans to build aqueducts and, and expand the Roman Empire. So this is what Louis Kahn used here. And he used it for the structural purposes and as well as the aesthetic quality of it as well. As you see, you'll see little browns in here and grays. That's all intentional. This is all desirable from, um, from Louis Kahn's standpoint. This is what he wanted to see in the concrete. You know, again, he wanted these natural colors and tones to come out. And if you look, it sort of responds to the travertine on the floor. The same colors, same, even almost the same texture. These imperfections in the concrete, again, very intentional. Um, there's ways you can take your concrete forms and you, and you vibrate it and you get all the air pockets out. And when you pull the forms out, you have a smooth piece of concrete. That's not what Louis Kahn wanted. He felt it was important to have you know, these imperfections in the concrete. Uh, one, in one of uh, Louis Kahn's lectures, he would, um, one of his famous lectures, he would say, ask a brick what he wants to be. And the brick wants to be an arch, because the arch is you know, the, most, the, 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 most, uh, the best thing you can do mm -hmm. in terms of masonry. Um, well, if you ask concrete what he wants to be, concrete wants to be treated like a fine stone. And that's what he's doing, here, and that's how he's treating it. It's all over the soft uh, Another thing, uh, I think, too, that I want to point out are the way the details are put together. One of the ways that, one of the things that you can't avoid when working with concrete is the, the impression left by the forms. So if you look up here, you can see where the plywood panels are. And you can almost see the grain of, of, of wood, you know, sort of imprinted on the concrete. And that's unavoidable. That's that's just one of the that's just the nature of the nature of working with concrete. Um, it's a reflection. It's always a reflection of forms that you use. And so, you know, what does an architect do when he has a condition he can't hide? He makes it beautiful, right? Mm. And that's what this detail is. So instead of lines like that, he created lines like this. This is actually a separate detail. Now this is a detail where the two form panels came together, and, and, and so he expressed it. Now we understand this is a panel, that's a panel, that's a panel, just by a simple detail. Again, um, he made it more beautiful at the same time, um, he created a language that, that we can look at and say, this is where two form panels come together. You see where it changes here? It goes from one line to two. That's because a corner form is constructed differently. It's actually a different type of uh, form in, in itself. And so he created a different detail for it. So now I know when I get to this point, something changed. I know we went from a panel to a corner. And even when you look down at the ground there, I know this is different because he put a, he put a reveal on it, he put a space. But now I, I know that I'm going from foundation to wall. He does the same thing up on top, he breaks it. So now I know that this wall was formed first and then the wall formed on top of it. And so I can see, I can follow the progression of construction just, just by looking at the clues that the, the concrete leaves behind. And that's, that, that's again, you know, that's one of the, one of the really, uh, really cool things about looking at the Salk Institute is that everything, everything has a purpose and you can read um, literally what its purpose is, what it does, um, in, in, in everything. Um, so, so what happens when you have all this concrete form? Uh, what you're left with in the concrete is sort of these zones, um, these, these 
open voids. And so what Louis Kahn did, what Louis Kahn did with the voids is that he would take these panels, this is teak, this is teak wood, we'll talk a little bit more about that, but he took these teak panels and he, he closed the voids. So now he created spaces. So now we have areas that are open and then now we have spaces. And then, again, so what does Louis Kahn do? He wants to do that in space. He creates, provides the natural light. So it's not a solid panel. This panel with an opening with a window in it and glass. So now light can get into that into that space and go from the space to the room. And, and so again, you can do 